Hi guys, I hope you are all safe and doing great. So for this video, I would just like to announce that I just uploaded the full backing track of my song, Sunny Side Up, here on my YouTube channel. So for those of you who enjoy jamming over the one minute excerpt I shared before and want more, you can now have fun with the full track. You can find the link to the track at the end of this video and at the description below. Also on this video are quick tutorials on some of the key licks and techniques I utilize throughout Sunny Side Up that I also apply to my other songs. I just thought that by sharing them with you guys, you can enjoy playing over the track even more and maybe pick up a few things that can make your guitar playing even more enjoyable. So let's go! Oops, before that, I hope that you guys can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. That small gesture would really help my channel in a big way. Okay. Sunny Side Up licks, tricks, and techniques. Let's go! By the way, Sunny Side Up is in the key of B major, so you can find these licks in the B major scale or its relative minor scale, A flat minor. This, by the way, is the Sunny Side Up guitar from Sire USA. I use this guitar because of her sunny warm tone. The bright and sunny look matches the tone too. I'm also using the Joko Sunny Side patch in the new XMG30 which is already included in the factory settings of the MG30. Alright, let's start with the intro, specifically the double stop technique I used in the melody. This double stop lick can also be found throughout the choruses in the song. For me, doing double stops is a really great way to add life and enthusiasm to your guitar playing because it can make your lead lines sound fuller and more spirited. Adding another note to voice over your lines really adds a lot of color into your playing. Double stops are basically any combination of two intervals. In this particular lick, I used thirds to voice over the melody I was going for, which was this. This line only has three notes, E flat, D flat, and B. So instead of playing the melody by itself with only the three notes like this, I did it like this. I believe that the additional voices added more life, color, and dynamism to the melody. To make this slick sound more elusive and suave or suave, I included a slide and a hammer-on. And lastly, I added some rhythmic scratches in between to add more movement to the sound and also fill in some gaps in between the notes. This particular technique is very simple but it can add a lot more dimension into your guitar playing when you use it. It's a really cool way to enrich your guitar playing. Okay, moving on, the next technique we're gonna talk about is the melodic harmonics I used in the song. Harmonics are a great way to add ear candy to your lines. I got this approach, using harmonics as part of the song, from how Paul Gilbert used harmonics as a tool to add more life and magic to the songs like Green Tinted Sixties Mind and Just Take My Heart. And for Sunny Side Up, the bell-like nature of the natural harmonics added some life and brightness to the song, which is what the song really is all about. Adding the bell sound of the natural harmonics to support the melodic aspect of the song sonically signified the positive emotion and mood that the song has. This technique is pretty easy to pull off because it's basically natural harmonics on the 12th fret, the 7th fret, and the 5th fret of the B, of the B string, <laughs> um, hitting the notes B, G flat, and B again on the upper octave. Using harmonics for the songwriting aspect of your playing is a really cool way to enhance the expressiveness of your lines. Okay, now here are some cool licks in the song. The first lick, or the first three licks, because it has three variations, 
they are three notes per string, sextuplet shred sequences. I use different variations of this concept in three moments of the song. Now let's start with the first variation. This can get kind of tricky because in this lick we'll have to jump between positions in the fretboard but it's really fun to do and really cool to look at. Here's how it goes. I'll play it again slowly so you guys can follow along. Now the second variation. For this particular pattern, I visualize it as Elydian, which can also be found inside the B major scale. Here's how it goes. Here's it again slowly. Now the third pattern. For this pattern, I only use two strings, the B string and an E string, and the movement of the pattern is upward towards the target note I wanted to hit, which is this. Again, I use a three notes per string pattern, but the last three notes of the lick was a simple two notes per string pentatonic pattern. Here's it again slowly. By the way, you can use alternate picking or legatos uh, for these patterns. Up to you. When I was recording these parts, I used alternate picking to add some grit into the sequences. But if you want to make it sound elusive and smooth, it's better to use legatos. Okay, the last lick we're gonna talk about is the lick I used to end the song. it again slowly. Alright, those are what I consider the key licks, tricks, and techniques for Sunny Side Up. For the rest of the song, I recommend that you try learning it on your own. It's a good exercise for ear training, which in my opinion makes you more empathic and a more expressive guitar player. If you like this video and learned a little something from it, even just a little bit, I really appreciate a thumbs up and a click on the subscribe button below. Again, the Sunny Side Up backing track is now available and I hope you'll get some good vibes from it. I'll be uploading more backing tracks of my song soon but I haven't decided what original track I'll be uploading next so if you guys have a request, put them in the comment section below. So that's all for now and I'll see you in the next video. Have fun and stay safe. Bye bye.